one of the last major coke oven operations uh, was in place until the middle of 1972. It was located in the town of Shof, which is about seven miles south of Uniontown. Uh, these ovens represent probably the best preserved examples of uh, the coal and coke uh, era of southwestern Pennsylvania. This is one of the few places where the operation is pretty much intact, including the rails going across the top where the Larry cars would uh, deposit the coal into these ovens and then they would be cooked with a 36 or 72 hour charge. The men sometimes had to get up at 3.30 in the morning in order to uh, get going on these things, especially in the quenching process. Um, this is a 200 oven, two bank setup. And look down here, you can actually see that the rails are still in place that um, once the coke was completed, it would be uh, uh, pulled into rail cars and then sent on their way to Pittsburgh. There's actually a, uh, a nice setup here where the, uh, the rails actually went down below to make it easier to shovel the coal, uh, the coke into uh, the rail cars and send them on their way. It's beautiful uh, block construction, as I say, still in place. It's a set of ovens over here as well. This is in such good shape that it could be easily cleaned up and turned into a walking tour as it relates to um, the Coal and Coke Heritage Museum, which is set up at Penn State University Fayette campus. Those little hooks on the um, front of the ovens is where the, they would store the leveler bar to level out the coke. It also assisted the quenchers in um, aiming the water in the right places so that it would be quenched properly. This hole would be mudded up with uh, blocks. There wasn't like doors that closed it up uh, to seal it up so it could uh, actually cook the process in the right amount of time. Coke is actually lighter than coal, so when it's done, it resembles charcoal. But if you don't know this, it's designed to burn hotter, and it was critical in the manufacturing of steel. When they closed this operation, they pretty much left it as it was, including, uh, which is down the way a bit, it's actually a Larry car sitting on top of the uh, oven still, which is uh, pretty amazing. Here's, a, here's some ladders that actually allowed the uh, workers to climb down to the tracks. For anyone that's into coal and coke heritage, this is truly ground zero. Uh, if you really wanted to get an idea, if you can look beyond all the trees that have grown up since 1972, um, how amazing these operations were. The town of Dunbar, they're actually building uh, an exact replica of one of these ovens in the park. The materials were obtained from the owner of these ovens. They had carefully stored unused, specially tapered cut blocks and bricks in some of the ovens when they left the operation. So we're actually working with brand new material, which is very exciting because 
um, if you pick up one of these fire bricks inside they they pretty much fall apart in your hands you can see this whole operation here I'm not sure what this was used for but it probably was something to that uh, brought coal down from an upper point down to uh, an area that could be deposited on the Larry car There's a bank of ovens on the other side of what you're looking at too, which are in equally good shape. I don't know if we can see the trunnel hole, but this here, there's actually a concrete trunnel hole right here that's set into the top of the oven that allowed you to deposit the uh, coal into the ovens. The design was of various um, sizes but the most common probably would be 8 foot high by 16 foot diameter it's amazing in such a short period of time how you can see trees and such growing up doing it, it doesn't take long for all of this to kind of disappear over time as I say this is the town of Shof and walking back from where I walked as I said you can see with just a little bit of effort this could be turned into uh, a walking history park for a town that could certainly use some tourism but it certainly allows you to use your imagination and really think about a time where we were very much an industrialized nation and just the incredible amount of hard work that so many uh, men put into uh, making their living. Check out the website stuffthatsgone.com to see other uh, Coke oven locations and uh, photographs of other uh, abandoned ovens around western Pennsylvania.